All right, all right, man. It's a rumor out there. I just call it a rumor um, that the Pistons are trying to move Blake Griffin before the March twenty fifth deadline. Okay, so let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. And my thing is, uh, the report says the Pistons may sweeten the pot for a potential Blake Griffin deal with a young player or a draft pick. And my thing is, Blake Griffin deal expired. Next year, and somebody take that deal. So, what's the rush? You're not gonna win more basketball games. You don't want to win more basketball games, especially with no fans there. So you don't want to worry about tickets. You don't want to win more basketball games for draft position. So, keep Blake Griffin. If he unhappy, so be it. We can do a buyout then. But my whole thing is stupid. I'm not talking about trading Jeremy Grant. And I've thought about. It. I'm like, yeah, I want to trade Jer. Want to trade no Blake Griffin right now? We just eat next year. We can trade him next season. He only got a season left. And somebody probably looking for forty million dollars in cap space. So that's my whole thing about it. But if you did say, "Well, put a gun in my head and say which player or which pick you gonna pin, be it put there," I'm trying to fuck out of Killian Hayes, not putting Sadiq Bay in there. <laughs> uh, Dennis Smith Jr. ain't proved nothing yet, so you can't put him in there. I'm not trading Isaiah Stewart. I'm not trading Josh. I'm uh, not trading Sadiq Bay at all. So when we talk about sweeten the pot, okay, I'm not trading the pick because we bad. So why am I giving a pick away with Blake Griffin? All right, I'm not trading Sadiq Bay. We seen what he did last night. So, I mean, you're just stupid. Just keep Blake until you ready to move. Now, giving Killian is is a is a plus for this team. I mean, giving Killian is a plus because most people think they won't draft K Cunningham because of Killian. Shit, I, I got Killian with Blake Griffin. Yo, yeah, I do that. But Blake Griffin can't even dunk no more. You know, he you know, he then really turned himself into like a stretch forward. Like, boy, you ain't Dirk Nowinski. Shit, you ain't Sam Perkins neither. Or Terry Mills. But I mean, just eat for another year. Once the offseason come, somebody would love to have forty fucking plus million dollars in cap space come to the twenty twenty two season. You know, and then what you can get is, you know, maybe, you know, maybe somebody they ain't liking the player. You know, maybe, you know, Utah, they got a high price player they want to dump off next year. Maybe the Lakers got somebody like that. Maybe the Pelicans got somebody like that. Somebody they overpaid and they really ain't, you know, doing what they need to do. And it's always players. Like, I mean, obviously, Westbrook is the other player like that. You know, what if it don't work with John Wall and Houston? He's looking pretty good down there. You know, maybe the Memphis make a mistake and pay somebody they, they regret it. Just like, you know, Chandler Parsons one day, you know. So, it's a lot of options out there, you know. You know, with the Atlanta Hawks trade, John Collins is third for Blake Griffin. Not sure. Because then they have to get the salaries matched up. You know, did Danilo Gardinari Bojan Bojanovic not working down there? Let's make a deal. I mean, obviously, the Timberwolves, you know, maybe you can get a package together to get Carl Anthony Towns to Detroit. You know, that that's always there as well, too. Get a package together, get him here. You know. <laughs> Excuse me. Get him here. You know. So, I mean, it's options, you know. You have to trade Blake Griffin. You probably have to throw a draft pick in there in the future. But let's say you throw a 2024 draft pick in there. Okay. So what? If he ever get the guy next year and you're after next year, I mean, you have to say Crosby Town, Sadiq Bay, Jamie Grant. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I ain't trading no, I ain't trading no 2021 draft pick, no 2022 draft pick, or no 2023. I'm not trading shit unless it's Killian. You know, I'm not trading Stewart, I'm not trading Jackson, I'm not trading DeLon Wright. For what? When I can just hold on to Blake Griffin, his contract going to be hot next year anyway. Just send his ass to the Knicks. You know, or you can just simply buy him out if nobody want him. But for me personally, I just sit on him. Tell him to get healthy, and then, you know, or if you really want to go, let's get the buyout. You know, he ain't got two years left. He could wait through the rest of the season and join the Denver Nuggets. I don't understand why Denver didn't. Well, I understand why Denver didn't want him in a trade. Now, I definitely understand that because look how he playing this year. The boy run up, run up the court like he got heels on. But hey, let me know what you guys think about it. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to get business question, call, response, shoot video quests. All my social media links, subscription. Twitter's the fast way. And Facebook, and Instagram. Want to make a donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Share, share the video. But let me know what you guys think about them willing to attach a pick or a young player to move Blake Griffin now when you, when you can move him in the offseason, in my opinion. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. We go.